Hey everybody, Mike here, and I'm finally happy to bring you guys an update to Assist. Welcome to version 1.3. In this video, we'll be going over all the updates happening and all the improvements happening. Hope you enjoy. Performance has been heavily improved with this version of Assist. You can notice up to a two to four times improvement across the board with different aspects, including loading everything much faster, everything is smoother, and overall more responsive. The updates made to performance come with a bunch of different changes and I'm very happy it's happened. Assist loads way much way faster and it's just a lot easier to use. Next, let's talk about the revamp to the UI. So UI on both the launch review and game view have been made similar to just give an overall better experience to assist. First, let's take a look at the launch review. On launcher, you have a brand new dashboard. Your dashboard includes the latest news going on with Valorant and your progression, including your weekly missions, your rank, and your ticket for the day. As well as booting up the game there, you'll be able to see you also get showcased your rank as well, just as a little indicator. We want to add more to this page, so if you have any ideas, please send us a message and we can add it in. Next, the store. The store has been also redone to just give you guys a brand new look and feel to it a lot smoother it loads a lot faster and overall works better for the assist client oh we messed with a lot of different shop designs and this is the one that really kind of sat with us and was like yeah this this works for what we got and soon in a future update you will be able to access your accessory stores as well next on the launch review we have added modules to the launch review this is mainly because a lot of people were requesting to be able to modify their dodge list outside of game view and we heard you and here we are so dodge is going to be allowed to be modified outside of the game view now modules in general are typically built for their your game view but due to this addition now different modules will be enabled and disabled depending on what view you are in Next, let's talk about the updates to some of the features and current uh, UIs going on in Assist. So first off, Dodge. Dodge receives a major update with here, including the addition of the ability to be exporting and importing different lists. Now, whenever you want to export your list, simply click the export button and get a file. This file can then be re-imported into your Assist or any other Assist version to add those players to their list. There will be more modules coming in the very near future, and I'm very excited to see how this module system can build and possibly include more and more people and possibly expand it to something we've never seen before. Another thing on the launcher is you're gonna notice two new things. One, there's a new account selector. To select your account, you're gonna to head to the bottom left and you're gonna click on the player card icon. This will open up the account management panel and you'll see all your accounts listed here. If your account's expired, it'll tell you if it's expired and if it's your default account. To change your default account now, simply just right click and click set default. This will allow you to set your default account going forward. This also opens up another menu to remove accounts. In removing accounts is not going to be just completely apparent. You must right click to remove. And if you want to add an account, simply click the plus button. And the last change will be also included in game view is a new settings menu. The new settings menu will be really simple and easy to use you'll be able to change your language and resolution and with this new version there are multiple new resolutions to be able to be used so uh, depending on which one floats your boat you can change it another thing you'll notice in settings is your assist account if you're logged in it will show you everything about your assist account if you're not it'll ask you to log in we're making the assist account a little bit more universal allowing us to create more custom features for overall for assist but also being able to implement custom features in the launcher view in the near future next let's talk about game view game view also got a ui update bringing the navigation bar over from the launcher view to just make it overall familiar and easy to use as well as modifications to live has happened and an introduction of a lot of new features so let's get started first let's talk about the next new feature reputation reputation has been added to assist it is the first of Sys custom feature. You can earn reputation by being a good teammate or lose reputation by being a bad teammate. It depends on whatever your teammates rate you. After a match, you will be able to head into the live menu and while you're in your party, click on the endorse button. If you go ahead and hit that button, you'll see endorse a player with all players from your team showing up. Then you'll have an option to either thumbs up or thumbs down your teammates, depending on which how and how they play. So, for example, I had this great jet on my team. I'm going to go ahead and just rate them up. You'll then soon after see a notification in the top right of your assist saying you've successfully endorsed a player 
or if an error occurred, you'll see the error. And if you think somebody played bad, just simply downrate them and it'll all be considered. There are some rules to this, but uh, we'll talk about those later and you guys can read into it more when the actual patch note screen. But with reputation gained and your overall rating being improved, you will be able to level up your reputation. Reputation score goes from level one to five, improving as you are recommended and endorsed by other players. The system is built in a way where players do not need to use assist to gain or lose reputation. It is all dependent on actual who plays in your match, allowing anybody to be endorsed. All right, that's reputation. It's a system we've been wanting to implement for a little while and we're hoping to build on it and expand it in the near future. Moving on, let's talk about assist profiles. Now, every player on assist will have a profile. This will be used for overall more improvements in the future and a lot of changes coming and just overall new features coming in. You'll be able to see a little teaser with this video on what we're planning on building with this, but as you can see, you see your display name, when you've, when you've started using assist, if you're a supporter or not, we'll talk about that more in a little bit, and then some stuff on the right hand side which we're not ready to talk about, but uh, a little teaser at the end as well. You'll also be able to see your badges. Using assists and earning through different assist custom features will allow you to earn badges, and these badges you'll be able to display on your profile. Soon enough, we'll actually be implementing the badge system to live so you can see other assist players' badges when in-game. Now let's talk about the improvements made to the live UI. So your party screen's gonna look the same for now. We're working on a few updates to it to make it look a little bit better. But besides that, let's talk about the pre-game and in-game screens. The users that show up now look a lot cleaner and you'll now be able to see their level and tag as well, as well as their reputation on the right hand side. On the pregame screen, you will now be able to see what server you are playing. This was a highly requested feature from many users wanting to see which server they were playing on because Valor does not show you what server you are on while in your agent select. Aside from that, the right click menu has been improved. Uh, first off, you can add in instantly to your dodge list from the right, hand the right click menu, but also opening up their tracker. This works both in pregame and in game when the player is not hidden. When a player is hidden, it will be completely disabled. But other than that, it will be you will be able to quickly access their tracker GG if they share their data with tracker. The in-game view has also gotten some updates. Overall, like overhaul. The in-game view has also gotten some updates with a UI overhaul, including the new user look and a more overall general feel to showcasing quick details about your match on the top instead of the middle, giving more space to be showcased for the users and more features coming along. In the next feature pushout, we're gonna be updating the users to look a little bit better as in, and include new features, including their recent win losses in that game mode, their most played agent, and as well as the last time you played with them. This is something I've been wanting to implement and it's something that people have been asking for, so it'll be in the next update. To use the reputation and endorsement system, you have to link your Riot account to your assist account. To do this, simply head to the settings and click on the assist account tab, and you'll see a button there to link your Riot account. You may only link your Riot account when you actually have your game open. So to do this, just click on the link Riot account and it'll pop up with your username you want to link. We highly recommend you to link only your main account, as this will also be used in other features. So just how previously shown on profiles, you saw the supporter badge. How do you support assist? Well, we're finally opening up another way to support assist. Uh, at the beginning of assist development, we had a Ko-Fi page, but we since closed that down and haven't had anything since for about a year now, but we're finally opening up something differently. So now you can head over to the Discord server and click on the server subscriptions and you will see the supporter tier. This will now be the direct way you can support assist development and get some extra things. So you get some benefits in the Discord, but also in the very, very near future, you will get actual things within assist to unlock and kind of only through uh, the custom features. This will be the only thing. Soon supporters will also have early access to the league's upcoming feature and a ton more. Now, two last things. One, I want to apologize for not updating sooner. It, there's been a lot behind the scenes I've been working on, which I'm going to go into a little bit here. But overall, there's been a few things with Assist I've been wanting to learn and how to use and improve overall the features of the, the program. 
uh, going forward. Uh, there's going to be a lot more updates, I hope so, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Second thing I want to talk about is leagues. Leagues is something I've been working on for a while, and I did announce it back in, on June 20th, and there hasn't really been an update since. I'm happy to say that it's still currently under development, but it won't be released just, just yet. There's still some testing and a few things I need to work out that I just want to make sure I release it in the perfect condition and also at the right time. I'm not planning on currently launching leagues with 1.3. It will be coming very soon after, and I'm really hoping everything will work out in the future. Leagues will be super cool to showcase and overall just use. I really hope you guys look forward to it. It'll be coming soon, I promise. Overall, I've hoped you guys enjoyed this update. If you have any feedback, let me know. Update will be going out relatively soon. I'm hoping within the next few hours or days, depending on how many bugs I find within the next few hours. I really hope you guys do enjoy. And yeah, thank you.